finals for the first time. But they have a Brazilian in charge, Silvio Pinero. Not a bad choice, that really, because Brazil world leaders in futsal. There's the Uruguay team. They're without one of their best players, though, Alvaro Pinero, who plays professionally in Spain. He's out for four games suspended. He was sent off in a qualifying fixture against Argentina. Futsal is very much in its infancy in Thailand, and these are all 11 aside players who've shown they've the skills so special to the indoor game. All part of a learning curve for them. The coach Pinero is instigating a number of clinics in Thailand at the moment. The hope is that they'll be better equipped in four years' time. That's the second official. So we're all set to get underway with Thailand in the blue strip, kicking from right to left. Last minute encouragement for the Uruguayan players. They skip it here by Miguel Angel Zabala. And we're underway. Don't forget the game is split into two 20 minute halves. Each side can claim a one minute timeout whenever they're in possession. Substitutes can come on and go off. We have a kick in from the touchline, not a throw in. The idea is to keep the game fast and furious. Sandro there for Uruguay. Polisak, the Thailand captain, and a fairly hefty challenge there. Simran Fun is the player who's gone down. Simran Fun, one of the more experienced Thai players, age 31. Both sides making a rather nervous opening. The clock is stopped every time the ball is out of play. To Alessandro. Sukoro. Here's the skipper. The first chance of a shot at goal there for De Alessandro. Alessandro, 22, plays for Penarol. Aguera Zabala. Intelligent play there by Uruguay. Raising the tempo very, very quickly. To Alessandro there trying to take advantage of the movement instigated by a skipper. back behind the ball it's a zonal game which they're playing trying to get plenty of men back whenever they don't have possession and it's Uruguay who have the first corner here PM who put the ball into touch Moncharan the goalkeeper taking charge of operations foul that on that Alessandro. Alaska 
guilty of committing the first foul. Don't forget that after six fouls, there's a free penalty shot. The sixth accumulated foul results in a penalty to the opposition. That's from a, a second penalty mark, 10 metres outside the goal area. Poor pass by PM. Alessandra. Sakura. Chance once more for the skipper. Three of the Uruguayan squad currently play semi professionally in Spain. Pinero, the player who's suspended, is one of them. Pinero is known as PP. He was sent off when Argentina beat Uruguay 2-1 in the South American qualifying semi-final. Needless to say, Brazil won the tournament. Argentina was second. But third place good enough for Uruguay to qualify for these fourth FIFA Futsal World Championships. The ball, of course, can be played overhead height, and there Thailand making use of the long ball to try and relieve some of the pressure on their back line. which has been cut out by De Alessandro and that was a good shot and a good stop too and Charon will take encouragement from that 38 years old the Thai goalkeeper <laughs> Uruguay have the kick in Aguera Zabala De Alessandro Sakura. Another foul on the Alessandro. That's twice he's been caught now by PM. Sometimes more difficult to score from a free kick like this because the opposition have the opportunity to regroup. Another good save there by Namcharoen, getting down well to the shot from Sukoro. Three minutes playing and it's been one-way traffic. Uruguay with all the possession. Seventy-four percent of the possession so far for Uruguay. Now they've got another corner. Yet more stout defending by Thailand. Sakura. Good run that by Sakura. Element of surprise in many of these attacks by Uruguay. They like to play the ball on the ground. They like to involve Del Asandro. There they were prepared to flight the ball over the top and to release Sakura. Grizabala. Sukura. Sukura again. Move didn't quite come off for Uruguay. And there's an opportunity here for Thailand to break. And Thailand this time have won the free kick. That Alessandro there acknowledging that he was in the wrong. Munjarin and Samran Fun, the two who were forward here on the edge of the Uruguayan D. A shot from Pikam, charge down. The 
goals are the key in futsal, a fast and furious game. Average of nine per game in the last championships back in 1996. And the world champions Brazil have already got off to a fine start in this stadium, winning their opening game by 12 goals to one against Kazakhstan at the weekend. challenge there and that may well be a yellow card it is a yellow card for Sukoro. Sukoro cautioned after just four minutes of play there's always a danger in this game players have to be comfortable on the ball they have to want to take responsibility and then Sukoro was caught out Free kick is a long way out. Deft change of pace there by the player on the ball. Peekham. Agure Zabala. No great urgency about Uruguay's play at the moment. They have made their first change, though. Guerra, number 14, has just come on. Guerra, one of the players currently operating in Spain. There's another smart save at the near post by Namcharoen. Now De La Alessandro, who's been so prominent in these early stages. Guerra tried to make some room for himself there. Here come Uruguay again. Zabala. Now to Alessandra. Pikam who came across to cover. Haven't seen too much adventure yet from Thailand. But they've got a chance here. And it was a great opening. They should have done better with that, really. Sumran Fun it was who was able to take advantage there of the pass from his skipper Polaska first real sight of goal that Thailand have had Aguirre-Zabala, that was a poor pass terrific movement here from Thailand it's a game which has played at great pace and Thailand showing there on a couple of occasions that they've got the pace to punish Uruguay should uh, the team from South America perhaps get a bit too confident. Aguirre Zabala with the foul. Three fouls now committed by Uruguay, two by Thailand. Don't forget that after the sixth accumulated foul, the opposition has the chance of a direct kick at goal from a 10-meter mark. And substitutions can be made when you have possession of the ball. Sharp goalkeeping there by Namcharoen. Goalkeepers are allowed out of their D. Indeed, we saw with Guatemala in the opening fixture in these futsal championships. Their goalkeeper was acting as a, an extra outfield player for most of the game. And 
another good save. It's going to be a busy night for Nomchado and Diagonal pass in there, which presented Moleturno with the opportunity to test the goalkeeper once more. Six attempts on goal already for Uruguay, just one for Thailand, but Thailand might say that they've had the better opening. Alessandra. Now Guerra. It's worth a try from a long way out. Gap just open there for Moliterno. <laughs> Alessandra. Now Guerra. Reino Hernandez, who's just come on as a substitute for Uruguay. Reino Hernandez already taking charge of operations in the centre of field, and he's made a good break forward. That was a terrific move by Uruguay. Great invention there by Uruguay. Reino Hernandez, one of the younger players, as is the Alessandro, who's just 22, combining well there. The Alessandro. Pass was intended for Moliterno. That was a smart shot too. Immediate response by Thailand. Munjarinen. Munjaran, only 21. He's one of three players in this team from Thailand who are currently at college. They're without their best player, perhaps, though, Tutsa, who starred in the qualifying tournament right-sided midfield player who has played for Thailand as an 11 aside international in the Asian Cup also featured in their World Cup qualifying matches against Lebanon Iran and Iraq the defeat by Iraq means that Thailand won't be making any further progress in qualification for the World Cup in 2002 A chance for Thailand. Sumran Fun again, who was nearest to goal. Clavero called into action. He was also helped out as well there by Guerra. Munjaran is getting further forward down the right. Pulasa. PSI with a shot which was well wide. Thailand, the newcomers to Group B. They beat Japan 8 6 in the third and fourth playoff in the Asia qualifying group, having lost 8 2 to Iran in the semi final. Iran and Kazakhstan also qualify. From Asia. No five aside league in Thailand at the moment, though. It's a game which FIFA certainly wants to see developing futsal. 70 teams were involved in qualifying for these championships. A big increase on 1996 when just 46 took part. It is hoped that in the year 2004, futsal will feature at the Olympic Games. Silvio Pinero, the Brazilian who's coach. When Jalen's control let him down then. Hoisted forward towards Guerra. A rash move there by the goalkeeper. Namcharo and came charging out of his area. Tried to head the ball to safety and never got anywhere near the ball. May have taken his eye off it. Aware that 
Claudio Guerra was charging in. Long ball over the top of retreating defenders can cause so many problems, though. Uruguay playing with a lot more invention. Guerra. To Alessandro. Guerra once more. All these players from Uruguay look comfortable on the ball. They want to take responsibility, they want to get forward. Terrific movement here from Uruguay. Markers have been dragged all over the pitch. And there's an opening here. Not too far away by Reno Hernandez. A corner for Uruguay. To Alessandro combining well once more with Reno Hernandez. Still Uruguay look for the first goal. Guerra with a shot comfortably gathered there. One possession in futsal is to give the ball away, which is what Thailand have just done. Uruguay make another switch. It's the skipper who's on the ball at the moment. Agüero Zabala. Here he is again. Another good chance there for Guerra. Didn't really get hold of the shot. Searching the throw out there by Nomcharoen. Clavero, the Uruguay goalkeeper called into action. There is a four-second rule that the ball has to be returned to play. Within four seconds of it going out, and then Thailand were a bit too slow off the mark. Uruguay now have the kick in. Guerra. Reino Hernandez. Reino Hernandez. A terrific movement here by Uruguay. Fabulous turn on the ball there by Nico Moliterno. This is where futsal is at its best. Delightful close control there by Moliterno. Equally good stop though by Nomcharoen. Nomcharoen, the Thai goalkeeper, 38 years of age. Lots of concentration there by Reno Hernandez as Guerra tried to release him down the touchline once more. Beyond the halfway mark in the first half. It's been an encouraging start by Thailand. Uruguay with all the possession. Charan has made some clever saves. Says uh, Robido there, the Uruguayan coach taking charge of operations on the touchline. Guerra. Moliterno. off the mark stadium is filling slowly two games being played in group B this evening the other one is Egypt against the Netherlands the Netherlands one of the teams who are likely to be favorites from Europe Europe here with five representatives at the fourth FIFA futsal world championships Aguera Zabala. Guerra. Right, 
Reino Hernandez. That was a kick in, it wasn't a corner for Uruguay. Reino Hernandez. Aguirre Zabala, the skipper. Good run by Aguirre Zabala, and the goal will be claimed by Guerra. Uruguay taking front. Aguirre Zabala will try and claim it, but I'm sure that Guerra was the one who forced the ball over the goal line. Terrific work here by the skipper, Aguirre Zabala. Guerra it was who was bundling in. He was confronted by PSI, mesmerising skills there by PSI. Just beaten completely there by the move. And it was, it was Guerra who can rightfully claim the goal. It's been a long time of coming, but now Thailand will have to come out. They'll have to be a bit more adventurous, surely. Reno Hernandez, now Guerra. Now there's a chance for Thailand to break. PSI. Junta with a shot wide. Claudio Guerra, his first goal for Uruguay in these championships. One of the more experienced players. He's 34 now, plays with Manacor in Spain. But the creator was the skipper, Aguera Zabala. just indicating that Molterno was backing into the defender trying to block his path to goal. Oh, and that's a dreadful slip. Well, Janta there can be grateful that his goalkeeper, Noncharan, is in such good form. Great opening for Moliterno. Janta been taken wide all the time by Reino Hernandez, and that gave Moliterno the opportunity to test Noncharo in once more. Again, it's a long ball by Thailand. Again, though, they're unable to take advantage of the clearance by Nomcharoen. Falco. Reino Hernandez. Falco once more. Skipper there trying to lead by example. Guerrero well forward for Uruguay. Reino Hernandez. Clearance this time by Nomcharo and. of ideas in attack really they're just launching the ball forwards Uruguay with the more patient build-up and the more incisive breaks once they get inside the tie half Reino Hernandez 
Falcon. Here's Falcon. Cleverly shielding the ball. Reno Hernandez again. Terrific work again by Moliterno. And what a fabulous goal that was by Moliterno. Guerra's off the mark, and now Moliterno is off the mark for Uruguay. Terrific strike. Terrific close control there. Pudi slipped, and that was out of the outside of the right boot. It was a long way from goal. It was a very accurate finish. Well, this really is the mark of a very good futsal player. Had the confidence to take the man on and to go on and to try and hit the target, which is what he achieved. That's the grateful thanks of those on the Uruguayan bench. We've got a timeout at the moment. Uruguay leading by two goals to nil. Uruguay rewarded for their patience. Thailand well organized in defense early on. The goalkeeper there, Namcharan in good form, but powerless to keep that effort out from Moliterno. Janta. Alessandro with the footing. Uruguay look confident when they're getting forward. They look equally determined when they have to get bodies behind the ball and have to try and win possession back. Just a reminder of the rules which have been revised this year to 20 minute periods per game. No clock stoppage substitutions. There's a second penalty mark on the pitch. If a team accumulates six fouls, they're immediately penalised. The foul count in the first half is four against Uruguay, two against Thailand. Terrific running there by Reyna Hernandez. Uruguay now warming to their task. It's a foul there. You can take your pick, really. Was it Falco or was it De Alessandro? Fifth foul. Now they're living dangerously. Great kind of communication there between Reno Hernandez and Delasandro. to by far the most prominent for Uruguay in the first half. Reno Hernandez on the ball and De La Sandro. They're the two creators for the team from South America. Forward by D'Alessandro again towards Reino Hernandez. Prepan with the kick in. PM forced to search out his goalkeeper. Talon now playing with a bit more movement, a bit more invention. Here's PM. Good skills from PM. And he was able to stretch out there and bring Falco into play. It's a good saving challenge by Juan Falcao. It was a very good running deed by Pekem. Pray Pan.
Feng Pu. Three and a half minutes of the first half remaining now. Don't forget the clock is stopped every time the ball is out of play. A dreadful slip there, which has presented Thailand with a chance to equalise. Prey Pan there with a glorious opportunity. Thailand have had their chances in the first half. They've been on the back foot for most of the first half. But there, there was a great chance for Prey Pan taking advantage of the earlier slip. Uruguay perhaps paying the price for some complacency. La Mana. That's a great run by La Mana. And Mom Charuin deserves some good fortune. He didn't get a clean hand on the ball. Pablo La Mana making an instant impression. We've got the second now of the two timeouts. Three minutes of the first half remain. Cesar Rubido is the Uruguayan coach there. Skipper Aguirre Zabala is also making his feelings known. Thailand, of course, with the Brazilian coach. Man in the white shirt there, Silvio Pinero, and Pinero having assistance from an interpreter. Pinero has only been in the job for five months. He's been organizing several clinics trying to help the development of the game in Thailand. It's all a bit too intricate in there. Appeals there for a penalty by the skipper. Aguarezabala, nothing given though. It's Thailand to have the free kick. It was the over ambitious challenge by the manor, which was which was flagged up. And of course now it means that Thailand have that penalty kick. Penalty kick which is taken from the 10 meter mark. A chance for Thailand to pull a goal back here. Discipline by Uruguay because they conceded the foul deep inside the Thailand half. A chance then for Thailand to pull a goal back, and they've done just that. What terrific delight, too! B. Cam has got their first goal in these Futsal World Championships. Terrific shot, so difficult for the goalkeeper, ball that's driven towards him. Goalkeeper was committed, he was off balance. So that will give Thailand great encouragement, so close to half-time. Uruguay, 2-1 leaders now after dominating the first half in terms of possession. Here's the goal scorer, Peekham. Uruguay there, paying the penalty, literally. They committed six first-half fouls. And the sixth foul resulted in the penalty shot for Thailand from that 10-metre mark outside the D. Penalties, of course, can be awarded if a player is fouled inside the D. More worrying, though, for Uruguay, the foul that they committed was right on the edge of the Thailand D. The ball is always advanced to that 10-metre mark if the free kick is one further away from the goal. Pudi, one of the younger members of the Thailand team. Pudi is 22, there are three 21-year-olds in the squad. Cesar Rabido, the 
the Uruguayan coach just indicating to Moliterno that he wants him to come back onto the pitch for the final minute and a half of this first half. Uruguay deciding to be a bit more ambitious. They want to take the game back to Thailand. Moliterno caused all sorts of problems when he came on earlier. Another four-second kick in here for Thailand. Remember, the ball has to be returned to play within four seconds. That is the senior official out here. Two referees in futsal, of course, to make sure that they don't miss anything. the corner. Bray Pan across to take it. Only one blue shirt on the edge of that D. Two ready to make their move in late here. And again, they've been penalised. The four-second rule. It's always the intention in futsal to keep the game flowing. Moliterno. Sakura. Moliterno once more. Terrific break this by Uruguay. Final pass, though, was a poor one. La Manna just unable to work the ball through to Moliterno there. Skirko. Rezabala. This time... Uruguay have the free kick, much to the disgust of Silvio Pinero, the Thai coach. Into the final minute now of the first half. To Alessandro over this free kick for Uruguay. Alec Alessandro. Ball pinging around, and there's another chance for Della Alessandro. And another terrific stop by Nom Charoen. Andres de Alessandro there with a, another good chance. Cleverly worked free kick. He was denied the first time, but as the ball pinged back to him, he was denied a second time. But this time, it's the crossbar which has come to the rescue for Thailand. And once more, the player who's denied is De Alessandro. Puff of the cheeks there from Nom Charoen. De Alessandro. Well, Uruguay here have the throw in, but they must be wondering how on earth the ball stayed out here. It was right down on the goal line. But it stayed out, and it stays 2-1 to Uruguay. And that's the end of the opening 20 minutes. Thailand will take great encouragement from their performance. But it's Uruguay who go in front at half-time ahead. It's Uruguay 2, Thailand 1. Let's check on the first half match facts. Uruguay with 21 attempts, 20 of them on target. They must wonder how they've only managed two goals. Thailand perhaps had the more click at openings. Welcome back to the opening fixture in Group B at these fourth FIFA Futsal World Championships. Uruguay leading Thailand by two goals to one. Another 20 minutes to play. 
Tony Jones here in the commentary position. Uruguay in the red shirts now, attacking from left to right. Uruguay with lots of possession in the first half, lots of flair. Thailand more disciplined, well organised. They defended as a unit. They decided to make the more direct approach to attack. And they've got one goal to show for it. A goal scored with a penalty shot from the 10-metre mark by Peckham. Barbero and the Uruguayan goal wasn't troubled too much in the opening 20 minutes. Just a reminder of the rules in futsal, it's five aside. Each game lasts for 40 minutes. There's a one-minute timeout called by each team in each half. No restriction on where the goalkeeper can go on the pitch. There's no throw-ins. The ball has to be kicked in within four seconds. And on several occasions in this particular fixture, the kick has been awarded to the opposition because, particularly Uruguay, they were dallying too long with the ball. Guerra there, the score of the first goal, number 14, is Aguizabala, the skipper. To Alessandro now, who looked very lively in the first half, he really caught the eye with some of his skills on the ball. Aguizabala there, indicating perhaps that he took a push in the chest. Thailand have possession. Throw is awarded to Uruguay by the second official. There are two referees in futsal, don't forget. Here come Thailand again. Confident running there by Prey Pan. Pan, one of two players in the Thai squad who represent the Air Force. There's no futsal league in Thailand. These are all 11 aside players who've been given the opportunity to come here to Guatemala for these championships. Thailand beat Japan 8 6 in the third place game for the Asia qualifying round. Two by Iran in the semi-finals. Iran and Kazakhstan, the other qualifiers from Asia. Both teams without their best players. Tutsa, midfield player for Thailand. And also Navarra Pinero, who's suspended for Uruguay, having been sent off in a game against Argentina. A real let-off there for Thailand at the start of this second period of 20 minutes. Futsal designed to be fast and furious, designed to encourage skills, designed to encourage players who are prepared to run at defenders. First foul of the second half. has been taken from the 10-metre mark and when the sixth foul is committed the opposition get a free penalty shoot from that 10-metre mark and Sharon the goalkeeper trying to organize some defensive cover interestingly the goalkeeper is behind the wall he's not going to get much of a side to the ball wall stood firm and did its job though Had a good first half Nam Charuin, the oldest player in the Thai team. Spectacular overhead kick by Moliterno. Moliterno, who's already found the target once in this game, score of the second goal for Uruguay. Pudi. Clever turn that by Pudi, just spinning away from his marker, who was D'Alessandro. Guerra. Guerra continued his run forward. More clever play by Uruguay. 
Uruguay normally happy to play a patient game, happy to keep possession and to work the ball through to the two front runners. There they were prepared to loft the ball over the back of the Thai defence. More fine skills and a great opening here. Finish was a poor one though there by Munjarin. restriction on where the ball can go in futsal players allowed to kick it overhead height FIFA have decided that it should resemble the outdoor game as much as possible but they've made the point that they want it to be fast they want to encourage attacking play and teams have to attack in futsal Thailand now have to attack they're trailing by two goals to one Uruguay at the moment not playing with the swagger that they enjoyed in the opening 10 minutes or so of the first period. Thailand well organized in defense, happy to give Uruguay the possession. Here come Uruguay again. Spinning across the face of goal, incisive break that led once more by Moliterno. Now, Guerrero there racing in, trying to get in on the end of the shot from his skipper, Agrezabala. First time that Thailand have featured in the World Futsal Finals. Uruguay were there back in 1996. Ten teams from 96 are back here in Guatemala for 2000. Pudi. Oh, that was an audacious chip. Tried to catch Clavero out. And now a chance for Uruguay and a goal for Uruguay. It's a second one for Moliterno. An indication there of how the game can turn so quickly. Pudi denied at the other end by Clavero. And the ball launched upfield to Moliterno, who's at his happiest when he's running at defenders, it seems. The goalkeeper, Nomcheren, will be disappointed. He was beaten at the near post. A slip there as well by Kai Gao. It's completely sold by the movement then from Moliterno, but another good finish. And Uruguay leading now by three goals to one. to some run front. Uruguay have made a switch, they've brought Falcao on. Also on now is Martin Perez, who's making his first appearance for the national team. And it's Perez on the ball there. Dispossessed though by Conga. Munjaran. Still with Munjaran. Some run fun now offering some support. Munjaran again. Good skill by Munjaran. Still Munjaran. And denied at the last by Clavero. Fabulous close control. A lot is expected from him in the future. The leader of the Thai delegation was telling me earlier that he perhaps is one to watch. He's still only 21. One of three students in this 
team from Thailand. It's their first experience of the big occasion, the first experience of a major futsal final. But they've acquitted themselves well. Falca. Aguera in a much deeper row. Still a lot of good movement from Uruguay. Reno Hernandez. Aguera. Reno Hernandez racing forward to try and get in on the chip over the top of the defensive back line. Pudi is caught out. Chance here for Perez. Been taken wide though and good covering there by Munjaran. Promising opening though for Perez. Martin Perez is making his first appearance in an indoor international for Uruguay. Thailand have the kicking. Thank you. Once more, Thailand opting to play the long ball forward. Kong Kyu, another of the 21 year olds. Cesar Rovira, the Uruguayan coach, just a shade older. Guerra. Now Reno Hernandez. Guerra again. player in the Uruguayan team. Conquer. Now Pudi. Conquer with the opportunity to bring the ball forward here for Thailand. Terrific close control again by Mana Jaran. And Jaran has had a couple of very good runs in this second half. trying to inject a little pace into their play. Reino Hernandez, Falca, Guerra, now Silva. Thailand very disciplined in defence. Everyone prepared to run and chase and to deny Uruguay space. Guerra is playing in this much more withdrawn role in the second half. Guerra again trying to give Uruguay some inspiration. Here's Silva. Now Falca. Silva's run was watched there and checked by Sumran Fun. The block then is Reno Hernandez, shot at goal. Guerra. Reno Hernandez. Some of the Uruguayan passing in the second half has been a bit sloppy. They haven't performed as well as they did in the opening half. And now they've conceded a corner. Again, to have just one man on the edge of the D. Ball is hit long. Con Q. Con Q. 
Poudis. Look very nimble, very sharp, particularly when he's got his back to goal and he's got the opportunity to try and turn the defender. Thailand make a switch. Plaza is the player coming off, uh, to come on rather, to replace Pudi. Pudi not looking too happy with the decision. In futsal, of course. It's a rolling system of substitutes. 14 in the squad. Only five on the pitch at any one time. Three times winners of the Futsal World Championships. Second game on court here in the El Domo tonight features the Netherlands, who were beaten by Brazil in the first ever Futsal final back in 1989. The Netherlands will be playing Egypt. They are the four teams who make up Group B. Zabala, Manbola Turner, Zabala coming out of his goal, We're just running away from Reino Hernandez, Munjararan with the kick in here for Thailand, Munjararan again. Good skills by Munjaran. A kick in for Thailand. Very impressive in this particular game. Munjaran, still only 21 years of age. Opportunity. Again, they've just got the one blue shirt on the edge of the D. Now there's a chance, but Thailand loitering over the kick in. It took more than four seconds. Oh, and a slip there, which has allowed Thailand in. Good catch there by Clavero. Palaska, the Thai skipper, prepared to shoot a goal from a long way out. P. Kemp, scorer of Thailand's goal. Agurizabala, who's able to get a footing. Here's Guerra. Better again. Ball had gone out for a tie throw. Polisar. Angle pass there by Pikam. Just too far ahead of Munjaran. Chance here for Uruguay, and for the second time in the match, the ball has hit the crossbar. Another good opening, though, for Uruguay. This is a skipper who this time caused the problems for Thailand. Aguirre Zabala there with the opportunity just to lift the ball over the advancing goalkeeper. Cleverly done, but just too much height on the ball. Steady tempo to this game. 
the opening fixtures in the El Dumo Stadium on Saturday, played in front of a capacity crowd of 7,500, were fast and fu furious. Guatemala beaten by Portugal. And then Brazil hammering Kazakhstan. Hefty challenge on Sumran Fun. Turner, the first to come across to apologise. Uruguay have now committed two fouls in the second half. Any time who commits six will be penalised. They'll have to face a penalty shot from a 10 metre mark. And Munjaran is warming to his task. Youngster who has been given freedom to roll really by the Thai coach. Thumping shot there, which was certainly felt by Reino Hernandez. Amazing shot that by Munjaran. Munjaran's shot actually cleared the Netting, which is up behind that goal. This is always a danger that the crowd will be hit by any stray shot. Munjaran. Thailand start to increase the tempo. Alaska with the shot over the top of the crossbar. To aware that the clock is ticking down. Thailand beginning to press the game though inside the Uruguayan half. Mujeran just unable to keep the ball in play. Uruguay have the kick in. Agua Zabala to take it. Good defending there by Pika. Just able to get the footing ahead of Moliterno. Uruguayan supporters happy with their team's performance. They'll be happy with the fact that they're now 3 1 ahead. The stadium is beginning to fill. Eager anticipation of the next game here in Group B, which is Egypt against the Netherlands. Still some unfinished business here, though. And it's Thailand who are beginning to see more of the possession and more of the play. Uruguay dominated the opening 20 minutes. Now it's Thailand's turn to try and pull a goal back. Second goal now could make all the difference, and they might have the chance to score that second goal. An opportunity now for Bujaran, but it's Clavero to the rescue for Uruguay. Thailand will be encouraged by the fact they've been able to create so many clear cut opportunities. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to take those opportunities. Zabala. Guerra, score of the first goal tonight for Uruguay. Thumping effort from a long way out that. From who it was who got the block in. Uruguay have the kick in. Moliterna. Here come Thailand again, and a good recovery by Moliterno. Pikam. Now Munjaran. Who takes a tumble on the 
edge of the Uruguayan D. He's right in front of the second official. Don't forget, two referees in futsal. The senior official here is Adrian Tamplin from Sydney in Australia. Ivan Novak from Croatia is patrolling the near side touchline. Good running there by Fung Poo. Didn't have too many opportunities to shine in the first half. He's played a more prominent role in this second half. It's worth a try. Pekum has already shown how powerful a shot he's got. Scoring for Thailand from the 10-metre penalty shot. Some help. It's arriving now from Majoran. Fung Fu forward. Now Polasa. A wayward pass there by Moliterno. It's a good break that for Uruguay. Two players out wide. Moliterno had the option of picking either of them out. Thailand have just called for a timeout. They've also won a free kick here. Each team allowed a one minute timeout in each half. This time it's the Thai coach Silvio Pinero who's brought his players across. That's the Uruguayan coach though, Cesar Robido. Making the point to his players, perhaps, that he doesn't want them to take any chances now. Clock is stopped with 4 minutes and 39 seconds on it. 4 minutes and 39 seconds for Thailand to try and save this game. It's been a promising start, though. It's their first experience of a World Futsal final. will resume with a free kick to Thailand. Uruguay have now committed three second-half fouls. They committed six in the first half and conceded a penalty shot from the 10-metre mark. Feature of futsal is the free penalty shot from the mark outside the D. Mopping up operations continue. There's a lot of water down there. Might need more than one mop to clear that up. Shake of the head as well from the principal official, Adrian Tamplin, who's just coming across to, to check there with the third official. It's too dangerous, come on, he says. The second mop has been found. It's a hard and forgiving wooden surface. There's a, a rubber sheen on top. You can see the marks that the boots have been making. Flat sole shoes in futsal, of course. Pika. Poor pass there by Munjaran. Agrezabala. Now Falca, a bit more urgency here about Uruguay's play. La Mana forward. Simran Fun with the interception. And a nasty kick in the side of the head there. Falca, who is coming across to cover. It's another hold-up while 
mopping up operations continue on the touchline. Thailand are frustrated by this. They feel that the momentum of the game has been broken now. They performed well in the second half, but it was a problem of their own doing that because the water was on the pitch in their end after they called the timeout. to catch the eye, Pudi, who we just saw shooting wide, and also Munjaran. That was Piquem who shot over the top, he was off balance, it was a difficult angle for him. Pinero, the coach, taking charge of operations on the touchline. It's taking a long time for the ball to come back into play. First half was much smoother, there's more continuity to the play. There's an opening here for Uruguay, who scored another goal. Fine goal it was too for Lamana. Lamana opens his account in these Futsal 2000 championships. Change of approach there. Long ball out of defence. Guezabala, the skipper, just holding off the defender, waiting for the moment for Lamana to get forward and to give him a bit of support. It was a good finish, goalkeeper was off balance. And now it's 4-1 to Uruguay. Difficult there for Pekam to, to get in a challenge. And here come Uruguay again, denied though this time by Nomcharan. Uruguay the leaders by four goals to one. It's the goal scorer, the scorer of the fourth goal, La Mana there, who's just put the ball into touch. Surely the game now beyond reach for Thailand. And here come Uruguay once more. Moliterno strong on the ball. Michael interception that for. Thailand by Sumran Fun. Here comes Manjaran. Now Pudi. More good running by Pudi. Very nimble, very light. Just riding the challenges. by Pikam. Agrezabala. Lamana. Another fine move by Uruguay. Great vision there by Lamana. A spectacular clearance into touch. Well, Uruguay really want this. Falcao there launching himself at the ball. Just checking his elbows. He's short of a bit of skin there, no doubt about that. Determined play by Falcao. Group B promises to be very competitive with three teams who made it to Futsal 96. In the group, Thailand, the newcomers, Egypt and the Netherlands, the next teams on court here in Group B in El Domo, this magnificent 7,500 capacity stadium. Pika. Chance for Uruguay to break quickly again. Lamana. Quite get hold of the shot. Did well off balance though when confronted by Namcharoen. Always a danger that as Thailand come forward in greater numbers in this second half, they'll leave gaps at the back, gaps which can be exploited 
with players with pace. There's a foul there. But Alessandro a bit too eager. And that will be a portion for Alessandro. Second yellow card in the game for Uruguay. Alessandro is cautioned for being a bit too hasty then when Thailand had been awarded the free kick. A really good chance for Thailand and Munjaran. Less than two minutes to play. get his head over the baller to keep the shot down and now it's Uruguay who've called the timeout can't be easy for Silvio Pinero the Brazilian coach in charge of Thailand having to call on the assistance of an interpreter to get his instructions across no such problems for Cesar Robido there, the Uruguayan coach. Well, it's a minute of time out, presumably the other players only get 30 seconds of instruction. Everything being directed through the interpreter. So we're about to resume with a minute and 51 seconds of this game in Group B remaining. And again, they're calling for the mops. Well, this is something which will have to be watched carefully. Players coming to the touchline to take on board drinks whenever there's a timeout. It's a lot cooler here in the stadium this evening. Some of the matches have been played during the afternoons in the heat of the day. The cleaners have done their work, and it's Uruguay who have possession. Falco. And a man twisting and turning, but unable to get the better of Munjaran. Sumran Fungi stood on the ball, and that's given Uruguay another opportunity to break forward, and it's Falco with a shot over the top. Juan Falco with... A good sight of goal there. Strong challenge by D'Alessandro. Agüero Zabala. for Uruguay. It's been a steady start by them as opposed to a spectacular one. Uruguay beaten by Argentina in the South American semi-finals. Brazil went on to beat Argentina at 6-0 in the final, but there are three representatives from that part of the world, together with Costa Rica, of course, and Guatemala, the host from Central America. PD unable to test Clavero. Inside the final minute now. Uruguay unprepared to take any chances. Happy to keep possession. Clever play by Lamana. 
An opening for Falcao. The ball ran through to Agrezabala, the skipper. Sandra. Good goalkeeping by Nom Sharon. It's Falco across to take the kick in. It was a poor kick by Juan Falco. And it's Pu D who's won the corner here for Thailand. Needed the save by Clavero. When Geran. Shot not too far away by Peacom. Well covered by Clavero. Drums are already banging in celebration of a winning start by Uruguay in these Futsal 2000 Championships. Success for the team from South America. It's finished Uruguay 4, Thailand 1. Two goals for Montenero, one for Guerra and one for La Mana giving Uruguay a 4-1 success. He can pull one back for Thailand with a penalty shot. There are the match facts. It's opening fixture in Group B. Uruguay with 32 goal attempts. Thailand with far more in the second half. Significantly, though, Uruguay with 26 of those shots on target compared to just 11 for Thailand. Uruguay committed more fouls. As I mentioned, they conceded that penalty from the 10 meter mark having conceded six in the first half two yellow cards for Uruguay but Uruguay with the bulk of the possession look at that 63% to 37% Uruguay, the first one well taken by Moliterno, who'd 